Hello everyone, this is the video number 7 in the IoT Data Simulator tool series and today we're going to take a look at device entities and consider their use cases. Devices are available on the Devices tab or can be created on the fly during session creation flow. As a first step, let's create a session which generates a payload for some simple weather sensor. We will use this session later as a base ground for device entities use cases. Okay, let's click Create Session button and create new data definition. Skip dataset and create the schema with the following properties. The first one is device ID string property. The second one is latitude, which is double. The third one is longitude, also double. And the last one is temperature property, which is also double. Apply the schema and create definition. Select it, use one second interval timer, skip devices for now, and here let's use random double rule for the temperature property in the interval from 20 to 30 and literal values for the rest of the properties. Let's proceed and select dummy target system. And create session. Let's run it. And you can see that our session generates expected payload. But let's say that there is more than one weather sensor of the same type and we need to simulate payload from all of them. Of course, we can create a new separate session for each sensor, but this is not the best solution here. You might have already guessed that device entities can be used in such situation. Let's update our existing session and proceed to device step. And here let's create two new devices with their unique properties values. The first one is sensor1 with properties device ID, latitude and longitude. create and let's do the same for the second device which is called sensor 2 Now we should attach these both devices to the session. And you can see that in the case when devices are attached to the session, one new step appears. It is select device injection rule step. Here we need to specify how exactly devices should be injected into the session. The following options are available. Round robin, which is selected by default, random and all. Let's say that we would like to generate two payloads for different devices on each session timer tick. So let's select all injection rule and click proceed. Now let's update device ID, latitude and longitude properties to device specific. and update this session. 
Let's run it one more time. And you can see that it is generating payload for both of sensors every second. Let's change device injection rule to round robin. And now payload is being generated every second for one specific sensor. I think you have already guessed what random device injection rule does. So the first scenario where device entity can be useful is when you need to emulate a payload from a similar devices but with their own specific properties. Let's consider the second device's use case. As you already know, every session has only one attached target system with a set of specific connection properties. But in some cases it is not enough because each device can have some unique target system options. For example, in the AWS IoT service, each device should write data to its own MQTT topic. Or in ThingsBoard IoT platform, each device should use unique access token. This is why devices can also contain their own target systems. During session processing, the following rule is applied. Any declared device's target system property overrides session target system property of the same type. Let's take a look at how it works. We will emulate situation when our session writes data to the Mosquito MQTT broker and each device sends payload to its own MQTT topic. First of all, let's start Mosquito MQTT broker in Docker on the port 1886. Okay, it's working. And now let's create a corresponding target system. We will use the IP address of my computer as URL and port 1886 and topic which is called test. As a second step let's create the MQTT target system for each device and specify devices MQTT topics there. For the device sensor 2 We specify the topic devices device 2. And the same for the device which is called sensor 1. Now let's switch our session to use recently created target system and update session. The last thing that we should do is to subscribe to the MQTT broker topics in the console. And for the second one, now let's run our session. And you can see that as a result of previous manipulations, each device sends data to its own MQTT topic. 
Next time we will use IoT Data Simulator in order to write some data to the ThingsBoard IoT platform. That's it for today. Bye.